stop trying to just contribute to open source. You see, anytime I make a tweet like this one, I always have a form of this comment like, how do I get started with open source? How do I contribute to open source? Like, what's your tip to get started with open source? And every time I see this, it's a little bit cringy for me because, you know, online we always see, you know, get started with open source. Open source is going to change your life. I also say it, right? Because, of course, open source is going to change your life. But this is the thing. You are not trying to contribute. Like, that is not the thing you're trying to do. You are actually supposed to get started with open source contribution by actually wanting to add value to the project okay so if your entire goal is to contribute then you're sort of missing the point every open source contributor that i know i've always started with like using the project liking the tech the framework the library or whatever or even if you are a maintainer or a creator you always make something that you want to use not just because you want to contribute okay so this is it this is my advice for you to get started with open source start with the why what is the why for this project so i look for a project that you like the why like the reason why the project exists you like it ideally you should be a user of the open source project you want to contribute to okay like i don't know how that will play out you just contribute to one random project that you don't like you don't use you don't even understand so start with the why next go for understanding understand the project okay so that's why you using it is very very important because if you're not using it how are you going to contribute to it even if it's docs you're writing or articles or you know actually contributing code you need to understand your understanding is really important okay so before i became the lead maintainer of sales I have been contributing to the project, not like the core code itself, but like by writing articles, by, you know, having a community and by doing a lot of stuff, even writing supporting libraries and packages, not because I wanted to contribute. No, because I like the tech. I use the tech. The tech has value for me. So I want to give value back. So that's how you started. If you're a newbie, everyone is telling you to do open source like myself, do open source is good. But please make sure you start with the why, all right? Understand the text, start with the why. For example, let's say you want to contribute to the boring JavaScript stack, okay? You go to the repo, you read through the readme. That's why the readme is there. It's for you to read through, for both users and con potential contributors to read through. And to even get more specific, most projects have a contributing guide. So you read through them. But that is when you, like, you know, you, you want to start contributing. But when you want to just get started, you go through the project, you know, if... It's a tool, it's a tech, it's a package, right? Try using it. Play around with it, all right? Don't just start, okay, I want to contribute today. No. Your contribution starts even before you open your first PR by you just, you know, understanding the tech, playing around with the tech, talking about the tech, even tweeting about it, writing articles about it. Those are contributions, but it starts before you do any other of those stuff. You need to understand it. So let's say you're like, let's go back to the Boring JavaScript stack. You read through the readme, you check all the supporting resources like my sales 2023 talk, even the talk before that, you know, you, you make sure you are following like your current and you join the community, join the discussions on GitHub, or also join the Discord of the project. So for this case, the Boring JavaScript stack, it's having the umbrella of the salescast community. You join it, you join the conversation, you ask questions, aim for understanding not to contribute all right so i think most people just want to get to hey i just opened my first pr that's not it all right so you need to first understand it might take you a week a day months it doesn't matter you're having fun you're understanding but so when you've understood the text so much that's when you can make meaningful actual contribution most people just want to start off with like you know fixing like a type of not that there's anything wrong with that but that is because you don't understand the tech really so you just wanted to like just get that win let me make my first pull request that is good but it's not great great starts with you understanding the tech you want to contribute to so that's it if you want to get started with open source first things first understand the why for the tech if the why doesn't like make sense to you 
you shouldn't just say okay i want to contribute to it and ideally you should be a user of the tech use the tech play around with the tech break it look for bugs you know tinker with it put on your experimentation hat on and do the tinkering all right so that's it so if you want to get started with open source understand the why play around with the tech shut the repo like understanding is most is the most important thing when you want to get started contributing to an open source project and make sure it's a project you use ideally you should be a very good user of the project okay by the way before you go do like and subscribe to this channel if you you know like this video like the video subscribe to the channel and also youtube is going to suggest a video for you to watch somewhere on the screen please watch it thank you